The current selection in this retrospect series cover a short period from October 2012 to January 2013 using just the Pen EPL3 and the 14 to 42 lens. Even today, I am surprised at the quality from this modest setup. The images are good enough for publication. I remember this occasion. The location is from the rear of King's House Hotel on Rannoch Moor, and the weather, as you can see, is predominantly cloudy. But as soon as I arrived, the sun popped out for a fleeting moment, making all the difference. But I had to work quickly and take what amounts to a snap. Everything was right for this shot, except for one very important factor. Too much boring water. When featuring lakes or rivers, break the water up with foreground interest, which I failed to do here. Loads of water as part of the composition only work when you have the benefit of a perfect reflection. I am not sure about the composition of this shot either. I was attracted, even gobsmacked, by the intense colour. I did manage to reach the reflection without drowning, but I thought that I would show what led to it. Notice I use F16 to increase depth of field. Any diffraction? The dynamic range of this shot was huge, possibly too much for any 2012 camera to handle without the photographer taking charge. Spot metered close to the brightest highlight and corrected underexposed shadows in the latest version of Adobe Lightroom, but retaining aspects of the silhouette helped, of course, by a raw file. Used F16 again, but this time to reduce the possibility of flare when shooting into light. With an open landscape, Look for foreground interest and understand how depth of field works to maintain overall sharpness. Micro Four Thirds allows more depth of field than many other larger formats, making this type of shot easier to achieve. Controlling depth of field was also important for this shot. The giant dice are an imaginative use of sea defences. Dunstanborough Castle is a photo honeypot, and timing my visit with a sunset to the left has lifted the image a bit. I spot metered the castle walls, and then corrected the dark foreground in post-production. A bit off the beaten track. I was taken to this viewpoint by a friend who lived in the area, which subsequently I added to my future photo tours. Always include a bit of foreground to add depth to views, and again check depth of field. That is Cromford below, Matlock in the far distance. There are many views of Seven Sisters, but like Dunsborough Castle, it is a photo honeypot. If you don't wish to add yet another photo of this famous view with the Coast Guard cottages in the foreground, walk about a quarter of a mile along the cliff edge towards Seaford to Hope Gap, and you may find the view a little different. There are steps down to the beach, and with luck you might have the location to yourself. It is marked on Ordnance Survey Map Explorer OL25, and that is how I found out all about it. I live on the North Downs, about 600 feet above sea level, and exploring my local footpaths is rewarding. This valley is near to where I live, and can be accessed quickly when the weather is right. There is also a very nice tea shop not far away, but I'm afraid no pubs. Well, I haven't found one yet anyway. At home, winter is approaching fast, and knowing a landscape like the back of my hand can be very useful for getting to a location quickly before the magic disappears. 
This is Happy Valley Causton. It is about a 40-minute brisk walk from home. We don't get that much snow south of London, but when it comes, you want the right sort. This part of Causton Common is about a 15-minute march from home, and I have almost captured the snow at its best. It is still clinging to the trees and bushes, but once that blue sky moves closer, the sun will soon dissolve the snow away, so it's not going to last long. After a gap, I am surprised that I used the pen EPL3 for so long. Perhaps I shouldn't be amazed, because what can happen when a camera further down the financial scale gets an update? It picks up aspects of the technical specification from a model further up the chain. I'm not saying that has happened here, but it is possible. 